Previously on Australian Survivor. How do I know you won the set for life reward at the Survivor auction? Hey, Mr. Reed. Yeah. When George discovered Haley's betrayal, the blind side of Queen Haley is on. He created a new alliance with Liz and Nina. <laughs> the Jacuzzi Alliance that will run out the, the end game. Jacuzzi Alliance. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Today is about who is the better game player, King George or Queen Haley? And with Simon winning his yes! third individual immunity, yes! the plan to blindside Haley was on. Me, you, George, and Nina, mm -hmm. one on Haley, the others can do with it. But Haley had a plan to take down King George. Mm -hmm. We take down the king. If anyone's putting anything to me that's not a decoy plan, yes, please. It's a I'm fine Let's do it. We're going to slay the king. OK, done. At Tribal Council, Tonight, for me, is about somebody that goes rogue and they will be punished. Nina kept her word to the Jacuzzi Alliance. 17th person voted out, fifth member of our jury. Leading to a right royal blindside. Did not see that coming. <laughs> OK, Haley, the tribe has spoken. It was good, Nina. Thank you. <laughs> Six are left. Who will be going home tonight? Waking up this morning, and it feels bittersweet for me. Haley just got outplayed. I'm just so surprised that it was it, working it, against it, us earlier on. It's yeah, because that. she had done nothing in the game. No. After blindsiding my friend Queen Haley, it's clear that I've played the best game here in Samoa by an absolute country mile. And with seven days left in the game, my conquest isn't over. I've set myself up better than any other person because I have two top three deals. One with Jerry and Matt. I was just saying my plan is to stick with you. OK, all right. I'm believing you 100%. Yes, Jerry. OK. Yeah. All right. I'm on board of that. I'm on board, mm. yeah. And one with the Jacuzzi 3 with Liz and Nina. So the next six days are going to fly. Oh, they will fly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I just really want us to get to the end. We can. We definitely can. I've got the options beneath me. I built these strong alliances. And the fact that I can pivot left or right is why I'm going to win. If anyone wants to scoop me up as a number and use me now, great. But if not, I'm running out of time. But anyone who's willing to send out an olive branch, like I'm no one's right now. Yeah, maybe I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. I usually say every move that I make is so critical and so crucial, but I have fumbled my way through this post-merge game. And it's actually put me in a better position than I probably ever could have imagined. It hasn't been the worst strategy. And I feel like I'm actually building a narrative that I can stand on my own two feet with. That was good. I have constantly been on the wrong side of the numbers. But if I can get to the final two, this strategy that I've taken to have no agency and to have 
no strategy and to be making all these dumb decisions might be enough to blindside everyone in this game. Right now in this tribe, I'm a lone wolf. I have no one. I have nothing to lose. So I'm going to fight with every last bit of coconut I have left in my system, or I'm going to go down swinging. How are you doing today, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. What about you? Oh, yeah. Doing all right? Another day in paradise? Before yeah. the end. Yeah, mate. We need to chat sooner rather than wait up. Because, like, this is all getting away from you. <laughs> yep. And you're running out of time. Yep. Yep. Mate. The way I see it now, like, I just see well, George and he's got three pawns around him. And as much as I hate to admit it, you guys are just his pawns. Like, literally, he's moving you around as he needs. Yeah. And they all see it on the jury. Yeah. And they won't see it any different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fully. All right, I'm going to put this back. Have a thing, mate, and then we'll whatever you need. He called me a pawn. He said, it's George and his three pawns. Of course Matt's my pawn. But I need Matt to feel like he's a valuable part of my kingdom. When he gets back into camp, we will, I, will, I will back you in, OK? Back that. Five, 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 so. five, five. And what's he doing? Bombarding Jerry now. You're doing the right thing for you. Riding on someone else's coattails. Call him the eye of Holden, mate. All oh, right, I'm going to go for a swim, do some more. There are three people here who are just riding on your coattails. You're calling the shots, and the rest are pawns within the game that you're playing. And you know what? I would rather go down fighting for something than have my game dictated to me, told what to do, told where to vote. That's not how it is, though. The only reason you're saying that is because you haven't been in the Alliance, and the reason you haven't been in the Alliance is because you've burnt every single bridge and people have tried to work here, here, and support you, here, and, here. like, you're alone because of your actions. And walking around behind my back calling me a pawn, well, yeah, I'm not going to work with you and you will be alone because, say to my face, You know what? I was going to say this to the jury. I'm, I don't have a problem with calling you a pawn to your face or behind your back. He's oh, just, I can't. said to the I'm a bit lost in my game at the moment. Hard being out here and then having people say that you like have done nothing and then believing them. I had George set in concrete when I got sent to the villain's trial. Not riding on his shirt tails, working with him. I don't feel like I have a lot of huge moves on my resume. That's the bit that's like, just get into me more. Yeah. yeah. 
I sacrificed a, a lot being out here, being away from my family. Just thinking about my wife at home. She's pregnant at the moment. Not being there has been one of the hardest things for me. But my motivation hasn't changed. I'm here to win half a million dollars. It would really set myself and most of all, my wife and our future baby up for the rest of our lives. But to get there, I need to take a big swing, a big shot. Now, I don't know where my trust lies anymore. These people that I'm meant to be working with obviously didn't trust me enough to let me in on their plan to blindside Haley last night. However, I trust Jerry the most out here at the moment because we've got our final two packed. Can I be honest with you? 100%. Um, quickly. I'm worried that at the day's far. Yeah. George made a deal with Nina and his... Yep, yep, I so. The big red flag. Yeah. I also feel like, though, George may not tell you if it's going to be me, and he won't tell me if no, it's going to be won't. you. No, he won't. He won't. Just like he did to Shawnee, just like he did to Hayley. Yeah. That final tribal is really close, and so now I'm trying to reassess what could my next move be? You've, you've, you've got to know when to pull the trigger. Yeah. So, I mean, you, if you're going to pull the trigger, you can't miss. Yeah. And maybe I could try and get in with Simon. It's a great opportunity that no one would see it coming. Well. George and Liz aren't here, yeah. and Jerry's asleep. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did think that this morning's big blow up does give us in a way mm -hmm. is a chance that maybe no one would actually suspect mm -hmm. that we would then work with someone mm -hmm. going into the next vote. Because obviously, if you don't win immunity tomorrow, mm -hmm. they're all gonna think that the boat's gonna be on you. Mm -hmm. And it's almost the perfect chance. It's just a thought I had. Don't throw me under the bus with it. And Matty, I, I, I promise that whatever you say here and now will remain between us. But honestly, if you're opening a door and opening a conversation, man, tell me when to vote. Yeah. If you can keep me alive for another one, like, just tell me what I need to do. And mate, yeah, all you have to do is give me the um. Give me the opportunity. And all I need is just a name from you. Whoa! Oh! Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> we only need three to seize half the tribe right now. If Matt is serious about working with me, that might be enough to dethrone the king. <laughs> Oops. This is a good day. George, out of all the days that you've played Survivor, this is the first time that Haley hasn't been in the game with you. How does that feel? It's a bittersweet moment for me because Haley is a close personal friend of mine, but sometimes the game takes priority. And when I saw that Haley was working against me in this game, I struck first. And it's that simple. All right, on that, shall we get to today's immunity challenge? Yes. Let's do it. I guess so. Give it up, brother. 
Yeah, mate. Thank you. Thank you. You don't look happy about that. Oh, uh, you know my track record with endurance, mate. Well, for today's challenge, you're going to stand on very narrow pedestals with one hand on an idol. If at any point you step off a pedestal or you take your hand off the idol, you're out of the challenge. Last person standing wins immunity, safe from the vote. Loses tribal council where somebody's going to become the 18th person voted out. All right, let's draw for spots. Let's get to it. And good luck, everyone. Yep. Let's go. For immunity, this challenge is now on. Pretty simple. Just got to balance a couple of sharp pegs until your feet can stand it no more. You're on the front two pegs at the moment, which are the easiest. At various intervals, we're going to try different combinations of the pegs, making it more difficult. All it takes is one lapse. Take your foot off, overbalance, let go of that idol. You could be letting go of your place in the game. Good news is we've done this challenge before. Bad news is these pegs are nastier. Oh, good. I stood in that torture chamber for four hours and 50 minutes on much smaller pegs than this, Jonathan. Well, Simon, you've said a couple of times now, if it weren't for this necklace, you wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Is that the case today? Mm-hmm. That sun is coming out. Heating things up a little bit. No breeze. It's not going to help. All right, we are 15 minutes into this challenge. And we're going to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to get you to move to the back two pegs. If you fall when you're making that move, you're out. Slow. All right, I'm going to count you in. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, I missed. George cannot make the transition. He is out. Everyone else, nicely done. Lucky, George. Oh. Nina in pain now in the second position. Just hold that idol and breathe. Lots of movement from Nina. Oh. Really struggling to find something comfortable. Keep breathing, Nina. I'm stepping off. Oh. Oh, oh, Nina. Unlucky, Unlucky babe. Nina. Sorry, guys. After 20 minutes, Nina steps off. She's out of the challenge. No shot at immunity. That is not for me. Now we're down to four. Liz, Matt, Jerry, and Simon battling it out for that necklace. Guaranteed safety at tonight's tribal. And the way things have been going recently, you're going to need it. Jerry still in it, even with his bunged up foot. And back. And back. And shoulder. And hip. No pressure, Jerry. I shall do my best. All right, we have 45 minutes in, and we're going to move on to the final position. Front peg, back peg, one hand on the idol. We're going to count you in. Three. Two, one. Yes. Well done, everyone. Good job, guys. Everyone makes the transition. Holy shit. Now you're really stretched out. Might feel good for a minute. There's nowhere to go in this position. That looks so uncomfortable. Some shuffling from Liz now. Oh, my God. 
Lord. Liz slips after 50 minutes. <laughs> out of the challenge. Well done, Lizzie. Unlucky no Liz. shot at that necklace. Unlucky, Liz. Now we're down to three. Matt, Jerry, and Simon. Good job, guys. Keep pushing, Jerry. You've been up there for one hour. Yay, Whoa. good job. That's some incredible feat. I get more impressed by you, Jerry, every single day. You got it, Jerry. You've done well, mate. It's been incredible. Just keep pushing through. I thought he was a porn siren. Look, yesterday in camp, oh, look, you know what, I don't want to go into this now. It's not the time to have this conversation. We can pick it up tonight if we need to. Simon, believe me, mate, I'm my own man. I know you're your own man, Jerry. I, I mean it in the complete sense of the game. Yeah. Lots of movement from Simon now. Lots of different positions, trying to find some relief. All it takes is one lapse in concentration. You'll come off those pegs, or you'll take your hand off the idol. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. After an hour and 20, Laps in concentration for Simon, and he slips off that peg. No shot at immunity tonight. When we get back to camp, we have to make sure he doesn't find anything. Yes. Yeah. Now we have a showdown between Matt and Jerry. Young gun taking on the old gun. Hold on, fellas. Keep going. Hey, let's go to one foot. <laughs> we could go to one foot. Let's go to one foot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you agree to it, you can do it. All right, this is exciting. I'm going to let you choose between the two of you which foot you want to go to. Do you want to do your front foot or your back foot? It's got to be back foot. All right, let's do back foot. Back foot's harder. OK, you agree on back foot? Yep. yep. All right, I'm going to count you in. Let's just watch over here, ladies. Matt and Jerry wanting to turn up the heat. Here we go. Three. Get comfortable. Two. You ain't moving it. One. Good job, guys. Yes. Wow. Wow. Both on their back foot. Now it's all about balance. Stay Come focused. on, guys. This is exciting. Jerry trying to find it. Jerry's got the wobbles. Matt looking solid, but Jerry's still in it. Stay so solid. Fun. That's how you do it. Wow. Matt starting to wobble. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Matt. Oh. Oh, oh. And that's oh, it, Jerry. Well out. done, Matty. And Matt wins individual immunity. Good party, Reggie. Amazing, mate. Well done, guys. Very sweet. Matty, that was great. You killed this today, Matty. Matt, come on over. Woo! Well done, Matty. Another immunity win. You are safe, cannot be voted out. Guaranteed a one in five shot at wow. this game. As for the rest of you, after 41 tough days out here, someone's going to be voted out. You'll have the afternoon to work out who that's going to be. It won't be you. Thank you. Well Good done. Job, man. Lead the way. Head on Maddie. out. Guys. I'll see you tonight. Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Having this gives me the sense of security and sense of power. This is the perfect opportunity to make a big move and set up the final part of this game.
Go eyes. Matty won today's immunity challenge and I couldn't be more delighted for him. But more importantly, Simon didn't. Simon has made it to day 41 on sheer luck alone. And tonight, Simon will get what's been coming for him. His torch snuffed, just like it says on his hat. Would anyone like to chat with me and let me know where I should vote tonight? No, I'm good, thanks. Matty, what do you want me to vote? Hungry. You're hungry. I can crack a few yeah. coconuts. <laughs> Do we need more wood from down there, Reed? Yeah, mate. We go get some wood. Yeah, yeah let's go get it. The numbers are really thin right now, with only six players left. And I've got to tread very carefully. And you're a cop with George? Yeah. OK, good. So tonight, I have to manage the relationships with everybody in my two alliances. And as long as my allies are at war with each other, they won't be at war with me. It's easy to do a 2-2. Two, two. A 2-2? Two, two. Because we can't rely on Nina. So okay. myself and Liz will vote for Simon. All right. If, if you guys are comfortable, you oh. two vote for Nina. Yeah. So you yeah. have the certainty that she's getting two votes. Yeah. Simon and yeah. re-vote. Simon on the re-vote, for sure. Yeah. I'm 100% on board. I yeah. Am yeah. Yeah. I am, yeah, yeah. I am literally 100% on board yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. It's Nina. Nina. Obviously, I'm going to tell Nina the plan, Simon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just get a move on. It's okay. simple. I quickly spoke to the other two. Mm -hmm. They're voting for Simon. Okay. We need to put one on Jerry. Like it. It's perfect. Because with Simon. I think he's more likely to vote for me. Either way, it's either Jerry or him. Yeah. And I, so I can I, write down Jerry's name. I don't mind. Yeah. It's a case of it has to happen. Basically. Yeah. To make sure I don't go home tonight, I need every person to play their part. If Nina puts one vote on Jerry and Simon puts one vote on me, I should be safe at tonight's tribal council. I'll just look in this tree here. Yeah, I'm going to do this, sir. Jerry and Matt are voting for Nina. Okay. Me and you will vote for Simon. So if he has an idol, Nina goes. Otherwise, we just read that on Simon. OK, so Simon's in. Yeah. yeah. I've just got it here. Right, I'm going to load that up with kindling again. OK. Yeah. And it's not to be used until it friggin' rains. OK? Sorry, mate. I just that's, wanted... that's why I loaded all that shit up there this morning. Sorry, mate. I just thought I'd get the fire going you know, soon. Mate, you've done a good job. After me rattling a few cages, it really feels like the door is firmly shut with most of the tribe. But Matt winning the immunity challenge today, look, not great for me. But I'm hoping that Matt having that kind of protection makes him a little bit more willing to make a big move. You want to poke it up? Oh. Well, I've got your I'm pretty keen to try and do something. All you have to do is tell me your name. Yeah. Wow, You're gonna have a swing at him. You cheeky bastard. If you, if you pull this off, man, that's a five hundred thousand dollar move right there. I'm pretty 
pen. Try and do something. Oh, it's just that one. But that's my, that's my thoughts at the moment. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Someone coming up to me and telling me that they want George out of this game at this stage? It's exactly what I want to hear. All right, just got to get a read on Nina. Mate, you know what? If it's a real plan, amazing. If it's a decoy plan... <laughs> no, it's not. It's probably another decoy plan, let's be honest. Look, just keep me in the... Oh, hi, George. Right. Okay? Yes. Sounds good. I mean, I'm going to go look for an idol. Even though Matt's plan to blindside George might just be fake news, I still need to float it by Nina to see if there's an appetite for it. Have you spoken to No. Potentially, now he's got the necklace and wants to have a fight with George. <laughs> so whether or not it's true or not, I don't know. Yeah. Do you think you can trust him? No. I don't trust him. <laughs> Look at him giggling with George right now. There's nothing there. <laughs> Nearly got it. But I'm like, now you're flipping the switch? Like, how can I trust you when it's been this long? You've never budged, not once, but you're completely flipping today. <laughs> yeah, he wants to do this big move on George, and I'm always for it. But everybody keeps putting George on the platter, like, get rid of him, get rid of him, and it never happens because they're actually working with him. Yeah. So for me right now, looking at everyone, my best choice is Jerry. Because what if he goes, that's one less right-hand man for George. Yeah, fair. OK, who can you win against? Probably any of them, apart from George. I think anyone except George. So George, is it worth the risk? self-preservation for you. Do you want to just go ahead with George's plan? Or are trying to actually flip it to do something? If I go tonight, mm. are you next? I don't trust Matt at all. But a pitch is still a pitch. I do think if George makes it to the end, he has a huge chance of winning. Yeah, I'm with the Jacuzzi Alliance. But if George sees an opportunity to blind somebody like me, I think he'll take it. You want to chase him? Not really. We don't need to. I'm actually more worried about Nina at this day. Yeah. This could all be a sting to get me. Jerry wouldn't. Jerry would never vote for me. Me not would. Yeah. What did he say to you? He said, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I'm talking about writing Jerry's name down. Nina just slipped, but she's voting for Jerry. I want Jerry with me at the final two. So that's a big red flag to me. Uh, you said that you went voting Jerry. Then Matt was right there. Oh, shit. I'm a bit worried that George is playing us all again. Nina said she's voting for you, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, she just said it to me. George is known for, for throwing a few of his friends under the bus. I'm concerned that Jerry could be on the end of a blindside. So those two will be voting for me? I think so. Yeah. I needed this in my tooth in the supper, so they're not two turns. Beautiful. That's yeah. exactly how I'm looking at it as well. I've got a big decision tonight. Do I stick with my alliance that left me out of the last vote? Or do I take a chance and make a big swing? I've got Simon sitting right where I need him. That if I do actually want to use him tonight, I could use him. Is everyone solo with Simon? Yes. Yeah. Simon on the revote for sure. Good. 
waiting for this moment five weeks, people. Five long weeks. He's been targeting me since day two. I finally have the chance, after 41 days, to write down Simon's name at tonight's Tribal Council. But the problem I have tonight is this. I'm splitting these wafer-thin numbers. And all it takes is one person to go rogue. And I'll lose control of this tribe. What happens after the tribe has spoken? Watch the drama continue on Tenplay when castaways reunite in the jury villa. Bring in the members of our jury. Flick, Sam, Shawnee, Sean, and Haley. Voted out the last tribal council. And you look great. <laughs> So, Matt, while everyone else was clearly in a lot of pain today, <laughs> you easily took that win with a big smile on your face. That must feel pretty good at this stage of the game. I don't know about easily. My feet are pretty sore now. Um, but sometimes just laughing through pain is the way I get through it. But I enjoyed it up there, so it was yeah, good fun. Simon, you had some pretty impressive wins so far. Today wasn't your day. No, it was never going to be uh, never going to be my day on an endurance challenge like that. You know, I would have loved to have that necklace around my neck. I feel like there's a high possibility that yes, that it could be me heading home tonight. George, Simon has been on the chopping block. I've lost count how many times. Yet he's still here. Why do you think that is? Um, I think Simon's won individual immunity four times now. But a couple of the times when Simon had immunity, he wasn't going to go home. But tonight, for me, it's, it's like we're looking at the Holy Land. It's right in front of us, and the seas are about to part. And there's a path that you can walk through straight through to the Holy Land. It's the best path possible, and that's the path that I'm going to follow with tonight's boat. Simon, do you know what path he's talking about? Nope. <laughs> Nina, do you know what path George is talking about? If what I heard today was true, maybe. <laughs> so you're not sure? I'm never sure. I feel like I have one path, and there's fog at the end, so I don't even know if it's a complete path. Matt, is it really that foggy at the moment? Um, there's a lot of fog around, a lot of smoke and, and mirrors of sorts. Um, but I hope that I'm seeing through it all uh, and that what I'm seeing is what's actually going on. Liz, with only six people left, surely it's somewhat predictable now where people's votes lie. You'd like to think so, but I feel like at this point, there's lots of chit-chat. I feel like now's the time to flip-flop. Like, I don't know, people are starting to think of their own game rather than their alliance, and... Just as you said that, there was some chit-chat and a handshake. 
Well, there you go. The proof is in the pudding. What do you think, Jerry? Are we at that point of the game where it's everyone for themselves? I'm still sticking with um, my alliance at this point. Nina, how do you know what is the right option and what's the wrong option? You never know until you read those votes. <laughs> um, and then you just weigh up in your head, what is the benefit of going one route? What is the risk of going that same route? And you just hope what you end up choosing at the end of the day is that right choice. And Matt, someone else's best option may not be your best option. Yeah, definitely. Um, you've got to be out here thinking, how am, is it best for me to get to that final two? Um, and it's not going to be the same for every single person, but I think I've come to um, a conclusion, the best way for me to move forward as far into this game as possible. And um, I'm trying to, to best stick to that. What about you, Simon? Have you figured out the best way forward for you? <laughs> nope. Not yet. That's simple as that. Simple as that. So, Nina, the tricky thing is you want to have a good resume at the end, but if your resume is too good, does that potentially make you a target? Yeah, for sure. Um, you can have orchestrated a lot or been a part of a lot, but as long as you can keep that in check and keep that information limited, you might out-argue me at the end to the jury because your resume is way more extensive than I ever thought it could be. So, George, would you agree that trust diminishes as you approach the end? No, I don't think so. Because if you throw everything up in the air right now, you're just jeopardizing everything for no reason. If you don't trust someone now in this final part of the game with six days left, something's gone really amiss. So, Nina, do you feel that trust is not particularly high in this tribe? Yeah, for sure. When you get down to these numbers, trust is one of those things that I just... It's less about trust for me, and it's just more about action, and I really don't know anything until you read those votes. I think it is time to find out exactly how much trust is in this tribe. It is time to vote. It is time to vote. Jerry, you're up. Nina, so you're gunning for me. I hope this strikes home.
I'll go count the votes. Okay, before I read the votes, tonight is a little bit different. Oh. No one is going home. Instead, the two people with the highest number of votes will go back to camp, but they'll go straight into survivor isolation. Which means they'll spend the next 24 hours in an area isolated from the rest of the camp. They'll need to rely on the rest of the tribe for food, water, and information. In addition, they will not be competing in tomorrow's challenge, which means they'll have no shot at immunity. They'll only leave isolation to attend tomorrow night's tribal council. If they survive, then they'll come back to camp. So no food tonight. That's up to the tribe. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll read the votes. Remember, the two people with the highest number of votes will be going into survivor isolation. I'll read the votes. First vote, Nina. 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 That's five votes, Nina. One vote left. Jerry. All right, Nina, Jerry, you've been voted into survivor isolation. When you go back to camp, you're gonna stay in isolation until the next tribal. Your torch has almost got snuffed. You'll have 24 hours to think about why. Everyone, grab your torches, head back to camp. Good night. Sunday night on Australian Survivor. I was told by Liz and George to vote for you. So that means I'd get home. Yeah. And that changes. Isolation leaves George's plans exposed. I'm in a very dicey position. I am absolutely panicking. Everything George is telling you is a lie. Every mistake you make will cost you in this game. Will his right hand man rise up? and take revenge. People take me for a pushover, but I don't like being deceived. 